Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Bringing the Heat with Regina Weston. This episode is titled Clean Your Lens Part 2 and the quote of the day says if something great is going to happen in your tomorrow there are certain things that needs to end today. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and spell this author's name because I cannot pronounce it. S-O-P-E is the first name. A-G-B-E-L-U-S-I is the last name. I just want to give that individual credit for their work. Now, let's get into it. And summing up part one of Clean Your Lens, I spoke on children and adults and the challenges we face as black people and how that creates and affects a certain mindset, positive or negative, which then influences our behavior and actions towards the human race, be it good, fair, or shocking. Going forward, every race has to create an environment of respect, tolerance, love, and stability for children and people of all races, so that everyone can coexist in peace. I will leave you with this. The objective is to provoke thought and change. It's a poem by yours truly, titled, Clean Your Lens. There are wars going on inside of my head. I'm fighting with the hatred inside of me, the enemy within me. I have a gun in my hand for protection because every time I see you, I see the hate I have for me. This is the reason I'm killing people who have the same skin, the same color, shades of black as me. Children and adults, regardless of the age, no one is off limits to me. Pulling the trigger, it's easy, because their lives means nothing to me. Yet I realize and acknowledge that you look just like me. We could be related, but who cares? (laughs) It's all about me. We have a lot in common, the same bloodstained history, Descendants of slaves, beat, rape, hung, and chain. Am I reenacting scenes from a tortured history? Is it a cry for help when I push out my chest and pull the trigger on those I see as the N-word, the name that was whipped into our memories in slavery? DNA of pain passed on, seeping and pumping in the hearts and veins of our black boys and girls who are oblivion of the journey of the slave from chains to name change to liberty. Our voyage is different, but the master of the house is the same. He no longer beats with whips, but the invisible chain holding me down in my mind remains the same. I do what I do due to lack of opportunity. We still at the bottom of the food chain. Only the strongest survives as the rest of us play hide and seek, taking that opportunity to steal and kill for what we believe belong to us. Oh, (laughs) excuse me. I'm talking about me. My piece of the pie since you passed slices of it over me. Don't judge me. Until you can see what I see. Arm, legs, cut, maim. The white man doing their best to keep me in chains. A forced lifestyle with no room to grow. Didn't I say that we are at the bottom of the food chain? Scraps being thrown to me. Eating slop from a truffle as pigs. Oh my God. How disgusting. At times, my heart becomes flesh, like a werewolf. The transformation is brief, yet in those moments, 
I'm able to feel saddened at the reflection in the mirror staring back at me. For my deeds, you see, I do have a heart. I am not tin man. I'm losing grip of the gun in my hand. My intention says, no more bloodshed. I do see the errors of my ways. How do I make amends to my fellow man? Denouncing the hatred inside of me. Reinforced in slavery. But relevant today. History plus present day comes out the same way. Much hasn't really changed. Another murder of a black man killed in Maine. I just put on my blinders. My aim has no name. Inside my head, the picture is fuzzy. However, I'm starting to see. I now realize that when I see you, I see me. A hurt and rejected colored man, woman, boy, and girl beat into submission, taught to hate anything that resembles me. Stolen from a homeland many centuries where we were once kings and queens born into royal families. I wish, I wish we could, we can regain all that was stolen throughout our history. I wish, I wish I can go back in time, take back my throne and represent the real me. The innocent lad with nothing but happy memories. For some, that may become a possibility. But that's not the childhood I got to see. And not only me, others have the same story. For those that can still hope and dream, remember that you are descendants of kings and queens. Tell our children, our future children, that they were born for greatness. Make them believers so they don't believe everything they hear or see. A distorted truth fed to them as it was me. If you don't, they will see the world through the same dirty lens that once belonged to me. I don't want to pass them on to the ones coming after me. Instead, with my arm outstretched, I'm passing the baton. I want you to do better than me. The power is in your hands for I now realize that black on black crime should not be. If you listen to me, you can be the one who changes history. I believe in you, even though no one believed in me. I hope that this poem has opened your eyes and sparked something in your mind and heart that will affect your actions and behaviors that will produce fruit from here on out. Good fruit from here on out so that we all can live in a world of peace and love. Make change for the better. Thank you again for tuning into another episode of Bringing the Heat with Regina Weston. You can listen to this podcast at anchor.fn backslash Regina Weston or Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, and other platforms. Please make sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you.